Hi everybody, it's a special edition of Anne and the Jumpsuit Crew. You might wonder how this had happened. I'm going to give you the very short overview. I saw this in a store window walking down the street and I bought it from Ferrety. And then I wore it on the Laydown Diaries. And then the people from Ferrety saw me wear it on the Laydown Diaries and they sent me a ridiculous gift certificate as a thank you, which I used to buy more jumpsuits. Now, you're going to see Elise in a little bit. She declined the jumpsuit. We did not. Now, the question is, does this mean that we can be bought? Well, the answer is yes and no. If Penguin Random House sent me a giant gift certificate, which by the way, they've never sent me anything, in order to say something nice about one of their books, I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't do it. Or I'd give it to charity or something. Maybe I would take it, but I wouldn't keep it. But if somebody gives us money for jumpsuits, yes. Yes, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies. You look very nice. Thank you, Faraday. Right. Thank you, Faraday. All right, there's a lot to talk about today. Let's get the worst of it out of the way first. Um, not, not meaning the worst book or anything, but Freezing Order, Bill Browder. This is a nonfiction book called A True Story of Money Laundering, Murder, and Surviving Vladimir Putin's Wrath. Just in case you need a little more tragedy and heartbreak about Russia uh, and the Ukraine, this um, is actually gonna be a really big book. Now, you may want to follow that with a kinder, gentler book about Russia. This was one of my very favorite books last year, A Swim in the Pond in the Rain by George Saunders, in which he discusses the Russian short story Boy, book clubs, it's got all the Russian short stories in it, Tolstoy, Chekhov, and then his lectures about those stories. Such a great book about writing and learning, love this. But if you want something that politically is a little more satisfying, just to get the taste of Putin out of your mouth, Growing Up Biden by Biden's sister, Valerie Biden Owens, who was his, is his best friend, right-hand person, there with him all along. I'm a big fan of Valerie and I'm a big fan of Biden. Okay, so Bomb Shelter comes out today. We will not be able to stop talking about this. Our own beloved Mary Laura Philpot. I'm going to quote the very best part of her New York Times review, which by the way was the best New York Times review I've ever read. Ready? Here goes. Masterwork. That's what they called it. Delia Efron, just somebody I love and root for, has a new memoir out called Left on 10th. I haven't read it, but I know it's going to be funny and terrific because everything she does is funny and terrific. And for those of you who are interested in being writers, Anna Quinlan, who knows more about writing every kind of thing under the sun, has a new book out called Write for Your Life. Cannot tell you how many people come into Parnassus Books wanting books about writing. Anna's got a new one. And then The Superpower of Sisterhood by the Bush twins, Jenna and Barbara. And I am going to be in conversation with them virtually, Jenna and Barbara are not coming to the store, on April 19th at three o'clock. Get your ticket on our website, get the book. They're gonna be talking about being sisters. I'm gonna be there. Maybe I can even get my sister to be there. Lindsay, what matches your outfit today? Everything matches my outfit today. If you had told me years ago that part of my job would be wearing matching jumpsuits with novelist Ann Patchett, I would have said, make it cotton candy pink and I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> but look at all the books that match my jumpsuit. This matches my jumpsuit. This matches my jumpsuit. This matches my jumpsuit. And this matches. And you know what else matches? A nice pink moment. Bomb Shelter by Mary Laura Philpott. We have signed copies. It's out today. Some other books that I'm excited about today that may or may not also match my jumpsuit. Uh, we have a wonderful rom-com from the author of The Flat Share, Beth O'Leary. The No Show is out today. A novel that I'm excited about, Unlikely Animals by Annie Hartnett. Uh, this one follows a woman who moves back to her small hometown to take care of her father. It's full of emotion and heart. If you want some memoirs, Margot Jefferson is out with Constructing a Nervous System. And if you want something fun and funny, we have a few signed copies of Hello Molly by Molly Shannon. And up next, we have Elise talking to us about events and 
I will talk to you about kids' books in a moment. Hi, everybody. So who needs a jumpsuit when you've got Sparky here? I'm just saying. Thanks. Oh, I don't know if you can hear Sparky. He's talking. What, Sparky? Somebody had to stay grounded. Is that what you're saying? Okay, I took one for the team. P.S. The jumpsuit style. I mean, that passed me by a couple decades ago. But anyway, I'm staying grounded. How about you, Sparks? Thank you. Okay, got that out of the way. Now we can talk about events and Mary Laura Philpot because we just cannot speak about her enough here at Parnassus Books. She did have a wonderful event. I hope some of you were there. I know some of you were there because half of the continent was there. And if you did happen to miss it, or if you would like to see her again virtually, you can go on our website and get tickets because she's gonna be in conversation with Kimberly Williams Paisley. That's April 20th with Mary Laura Philpott to talk about this amazing book, Bomb Shelter, and I have read it, and it is, is indeed masterful, amazing. Oh, I might read it again. Okay, now tonight, we are hosting Ocean Vuong. Now, I'm telling you this with complete understanding and knowledge that this event is sold out. So I'm telling you for two reasons. One, just to let you know that when you see these events, you get online right away because they're very popular, they often sell out. So just be quick when you see somebody that you like. I'm also telling you because these are Eventbrite tickets and if somebody cancels and uh, I don't know, look at the weather, maybe somebody will cancel. So check the website and and see if there might be a ticket or two that becomes available. And if you get a book quickly, he will sign it. All of our copies will be signed. So come on in and purchase this amazing collection of poetry, Time is a Mother by Ocean Vuong. So that is tonight. Tomorrow, Mary Robinette Cole. So you know her, she's a uh, Hugo Award-winning author. This is her first children's picture book. This is Molly on the Moon. It is beautifully illustrated by Diana Mayo. And it's about a little girl and it's lonely on the moon. But if you're creative enough and you have just one person to play with, everything's okay. And she will be in the store on Wednesday. So again, you need to register. It is a free event, but go online and get your seat, 6.30 on Wednesday. And then I do want to mention um, a few things. So Valerie, um, Valerie Biden Owens, we are having her here in Nashville. So go online, buy the book, get a ticket. You'll see when it is and um, April 28th, I'll tell you when it is. Mm -hmm. um, so go online and this is going to be incredible. And she's going to be in conversation with Trisha Yearwood. So that's in advance. Also, April 19th. I'm showing you this book, which you cannot purchase yet. Actually, you can purchase it. You just can't read it yet because it doesn't come out until next Tuesday. And next Tuesday, we are having a special event to pay tribute to Tulu Quinn and to launch her book, What We Wish Were True. Um, this is going to be a really amazing event. Um, it is also going to be live streamed. So you just have to check our website. I can't say that enough. Now, I think that Rayanne um, is not here this morning, so we're just gonna say goodbye to everyone and remember to shop local, or are we doing something else? Okay, <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting the vibe that we are indeed doing something else. Are we going back to Lindsay? Here's Lindsay. Hey, guess what? This book matches my jumpsuit. <laughs> Okay, I am filling in for Rayanne. Um, I'm gonna do my best. Up first, I have a wonderful middle grade book, The Last Map Maker. Uh, this is a high seas adventure set in a Thai inspired fantasy world. Another book I wanna talk to you about is An Arrow to the Moon, which is a YA retelling of Romeo and Juliet based on Chinese mythology. And another book that we just got to give a shout out to, it's the 100th anniversary of The Velveteen Rabbit, and we have special editions out today. So I can't remember Rayanne's exact sign off, but thank you for shopping local, thank you for shopping at Parnassus, and thank you for watching. And also everything matches my jumpsuit.